हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्यू सी एस एच सब्जेक्ट यूनिट वन राइट सो इन दैट द क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड स्टैंडाइजेशन ऑफ हर्बल ड्रग्स इन दैट द यूनिट वन बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर ड्रग्स दैट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिट एक्चुअली एंड देर इज नो मच रिसोर्सेस अवेलेबल इन द इन द वेब वर्ल्ड और इन द लाइब्रेरी ऑल्सो राइट सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी वाट आर द बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर ड्रग इट इज देयर फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल सब्सटेंस फॉर द मेडिसिनल प्लान प्रोडक्ट्स और मेडिसिनल प्लान्स मटेरियल्स एंड फॉर द फार्मास्यूटिकल डोजेज फॉर्म राइट सो एक्चुअली दिस हैज़ बीन फ्रेम्ड बाई द डब्ल्यू एच ओ एंड इट दे हैव गिवन द गाइडलाइंस दे हैव गिवन द बेसिक टेस्ट द मोनोग्राफ इन दैट वाट हैज़ बीन रिटर्न इन दैट by uh, by adopting the, those methods we can uh, ensure the identity and purity of the particular drug right so let's start with the unit 1 that is called a basic test for drugs so what are the objective behind that so first of all we need to understand objective right so the objective is the to provide simple and readily applicable method for verifying the identity of the substances right so ultimately uh, there are so many types of drugs available pure pharmaceuticals available pharmaceutical substances available so how we are going to uh, identify them whether these are the pure drug or not what kind of so what is the simple and readily applicable method which can which will be possible in the each and every lab actually so how we can uh, make them simple that has been designed by who so that is the first objective coming to the second objective to provide a practicable means for confirming the identity of the substances right the, the in the in the condition when the equipped lab is not available because of so many lab they are also going to deal with the pharmaceutical substance pharmaceutical product different types of drug maybe from natural origin maybe from the synthetic origin right so in that case how we are going to confirm the identity that a particular drug is the same drug or it is something else adulterated one or mixed one so that we are going to confirm so that's what this is the second objective third objective to indicate the whether gross degradation has been occurred in certain substances or not so degradation the contamination the the losing of the quality and purity of that particular drug the gross degradation like this gross salary will be there no in the same way what is the kind of how much contain how much drug quantity it has been degraded or it is not in condition to be used right so that's we are going to indicate so these are the main objective for designing of the guidelines for the basic test of the drug by who right so in that first uh, the syllabus in the syllabus it has given that is the test procedure for pharmaceutical substances right so when we talk about test procedure so whatever the pure pharmaceutical substances it is available the pharmaceutical product the drug it is available uh, what is the minimum and uh, the easily and uh, readily applicable method for identifying or verifying the identity of the drug so in the first we are going to let us have the series of the main important drug uh, that you can write in your answer that we are going to discuss here right so in that introduction you can write down the these are the procedure available and given by the who uh, to check the identity and purity of the pharmaceutical substances like that okay so the first drug you can give as example that amikacin sulfate so in that what is the uh, uh, the physical property they may be it is in uh, it is white yellowish white white to yellowish white that is confirm right and a crystalline odorless powder okay so there are uh, minimum test has been given like for example drug we are going to take if it will come into the your laboratory for testing as a quality control pharmacist what you are going to do the we are going to take the drug 10 mg and uh, uh, you are going to dissolve that in the 1 ml of water then uh, 1 ml of sodium hydroxide and uh, cobalt nitrate 2 ml and uh, you are going to get the violet color if you are getting violet color the pre the given sample of amikacin sulfate it is that one only it is not adulterated one or it is not degraded one right then second test you can uh, adopt for amikacin sulfate again that's what i have designed it is in a such a way drug plus h2 drug means it you are going to take in in the powder form right that's what milligram gram milligram like that it is there drug plus h2o and then uh, enthron you are going to add 4 ml you are going to get the bluish violet color so it will confirm the presence of amikacin in the given sample drug plus h2o that 20 mg the quantity it has written in the uh, below right 20 mg drug you are going to take in the powder form 1 ml of water and you are going to uh, add the barium chloride 1 ml white ppt you are it is going to form with uh, insoluble in 
hydrochloric acid so that is that is going to confirm about the presence of amical so these three test has been given which is having the minimum like sodium hydroxide it will be available barium chloride so these are the minimum chemical minimum reagents but what we can use to testing of those drugs it is designed in a such a way so that the small laboratory also will be able to perform this test for the confirmation right so then a basic test that's what it is called a basic test right then second drug we can discuss that is the basitracin zinc right so when we talk about basitracin zinc it is also going to have white or pale brownish yellow color and it is also hygroscopic which can absorb the atmospheric moisture and it is going to degrade it so that is the nature of that particular drug is the hygroscopic orderless again like just like a amikacin so uh, there are two tests available with us uh, that we can uh, write uh, it has been designed in such a way so that you can able to remember first a drug plus H2 as we have seen in the previous drug also every drug powder we are dissolving in 1 ml of water then butanol 1 ml pyridine 0 0.5 ml then heat we are going to heat it for 5 minutes in 100 degree centigrade we are going to get the violet color that will confirm the basitracin gene it is there in the given sample second test we can adopt a drug plus silica crucible the residue which we are going to get that residue we are going to dissolve in 5 ml of sulfuric acid H2SO4 that we are going to divide in two parts one part in the, it is in potassium ferrous cyanate if you uh, add uh, we are going to get the white PPT whereas copper sulfate we are going to add plus uh, along with the copper sulfate 1 ml of ammonium mercury thiocyanate if we are adding we are going to get the violet PPT so that will confirm the basitrus in gene right then that's what I have divided, uh, I have taken in, into the alphabet order, amikacin first, uh, basitracin second, third C for captopril, right, so one, one, one drug uh, from each alphabet, so captopril when we talk about it is again white and almost white, either white or almost white, crystalline powder, characteristic order, first test we can adopt with this, that is the drug 10 mg plus hydrochloric acid 2 ml, we are going to add in this uh, 1 ml of iodine, we are going to get the white turbid solution that will confirm the captopril second test we can adopt with this that is the drug 10 mg again the same h2o 2 ml here instead of hcl we are going to take uh, water and lead acetate we are going to add instead of iodine 0 0.5 ml here it was 1 ml here 0 0.5 ml white ppt white turbid white ppt so almost only the thing is you have to remember instead of hcl we are going to add water iodine lead acetate so like that you can cover the two test for captopril so it become easy so if you give the more example into the uh, a test procedure for pharmaceutical substances it will be more impressive answer right apart after uh, captopril uh, we are going to have the hydrocortisone sodium succinate right so that is the another third uh, fourth drug which you can also write in our example so important drug has been picked from the who monograph right so that it will be easy for you to remember hydrocortisone sodium succinate white or almost white just like a captopril uh, crystalline powder hygroscopic just like uh, your basitracin and orderless so this is so many of the uh, para, uh, the characteristic or the property it is going to match so you can remember in a such a way first uh, test we can adopt first basic test we can adopt for hydrocortisone is drug we are going to take with the uh, sulfuric acid yellow yellow with greenish fluorescence we are going to observe and again if you add water h2o color change to brownish yellow right first it will be uh, yellow with greenish fluorescence here color is going to change brownish yellow second test you can adopt that is the drug plus uh, uh, phosphoric uh, uh, acid right so in that uh, uh, here we are going to heat and we are going to get the yellow with pale yellow pale green fluorescence yellow with pale green fluorescence so that will confirm the presence of hydrocortisone fifth drug we can take that is the ketamine hydrochloride right it is also white almost all the drug we are seeing it is white crystalline almost drug are crystalline or here some water it is going to observe so here two test very simple simple test has been picked out for you people drug plus h2o we are going to add uh, uh, ice then uh, we are going to add, see the uh, potassium carbonate then alkaline solution it is going to form that will be confirmed by the litmus paper or something like that so it will be confirm the presence of the ketamine hydrochloride second test of drug you are going to take with the water again then nitric acid you are going to take then uh, silver nitrate and the uh, white the curdy ppt it is going to form curdy ppt like curd like precipitate we are going to see that will again confirm the ketamine hydrochloride coming to the next drug that is the sixth one that is the prednisolone that's also a very important drug actually prednisolone sodium phosphate so these are the salt 
it is also going to have the white orderless hygroscopic same thing we are seeing right uh, here the first uh, basic test you can adopt for prednisolone is drug you are going to take and uh, uh, sulfuric acid is stand for 5 minutes wine red color is going to form that will confirm the presence of prednisolone second test you can adopt that is the drug plus uh, phosphoric acid yellow color that yellow will turn into the orange and ultimately it will turn into the reddish brown color that will confirm the prednisolone uh, drug is there in the given sample then uh, seventh one uh, wind blasting sulfate right actually wind crystalline wind blasting we are getting from winca that is alkaloidal content right so white and slight yellow it is going to in its pure form drug and vanillin if you add on the drug pink color it is going to give and in the drug if you dissolve with water and add h2 uh, hcl hydrochloric acid and barium chloride it is going to form white ppt that will confirm the presence of wind blasting sulfate right so here all the test it has given these are the nothing but basic test that's what what we are discussing here basic test for drugs so that has been given and in objective we have seen when equipped lab is not available then in that condition when we are going to perform with the simple uh, simple types of uh, reagent simple types of uh, uh, test which will be available easily like sodium hydroxide you can see barium chloride you can see uh, right butanol and uh, uh, iodine lead acetate so if these kinds of uh, main drug or uh, important drug if it will be tested with the simplest method and the that's what it is called a basic test it's not the very specific or hi-fi test basic test when we adopt and we confirm the presence of drug or we are going to identify the drug this is the given sample of drug is uh, pure one and uh, it is this the but that particular drug only that is the intention of designing or giving these guidelines by who the basic test for drug so this will become easy for you that uh, we have covered almost uh, seven important drugs out of this uh, right so this Im the important uh, test has been picked up right for you people and it will be easy for you at least you should give the five example of the pharmaceutical substances which will be uh, impressive answer so let's uh, try this reactions this test and uh, try to memorize all the best thank you